by Linda Elise. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on her tombstone from beginning to the end. He noted the first came her date of her birth and spoke the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represented all the time that she spent alive on earth, and now only those who loved her know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. It would, if we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel and be less quick to anger and show, more, and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that this special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to refresh, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? The point of this poem may not necessarily be a Christian standpoint where you need to go out and spread love, God's joy and love to the world. However, though, we do have a limited time on this earth, and we do need to spend it very wisely. We need to use our talents, our time, and our treasures to praise the God that we all love. Another thing I want to bring up to you. Does anyone know what the difference between being religious and what being a Christian is? Not many people think there's a difference. Um, the definition is actually being a religious person, relating to or believing in a religion. Simple enough. The second one, belonging or relating to a group of people who are united by their practice of religion. Some synonyms, sorry, faithful, devoted, church-going. Being a Christian, definition, relating to or professing Christianity or its teachings, an informal version that I liked better. Having or showing qualities associated with Christians, especially those of decency, kindness, and fairness. I recently read a book in my AP English class. It's called Things Fall Apart. Um, it's written by Chinua Achidi. It's about an African tribe in Nigeria. And what happens is some white people come in and they state that they are religious. This definitely is a major thing in the book with them being religious. They end up trying to force the Christianity faith on them. Um, um, and they actually kill a lot of the tribe members, which obviously, we don't kill people, we're not like that. Um, but the point of this is that we need to be Christians. We need to do and act like the definition says, how we need to be kind to others and how we need to appreciate everything. Um, we also need to show the positivity around those um, in our own lives, just really to affect and to show just what we believe in and that we know we are loved and that we can love everyone. I have this notebook. I'm going to come up here, actually. So you can see me. Yes, I'm wearing a robe, and Pastor Robert kind of laughed at me because I wanted to wear a robe. Anyway, I have this notebook. The front is definitely filled out, the middle, not so much, and then the end. Let's say this notebook represents the opportunities that God gives us. Everything I've written down in here, let's say, is all of the opportunities that I have taken that God has given me. We often think about the beginning and the end. And usually, once you have a notebook, and I know each school year, I go, oh, this it's already used. I don't need it. I'll just throw it away, get a new one, start a new subject in it. But really, we need to use all of these pages in this notebook and we need to take the opportunities that God has given us. I have been blessed with being accepted to two different colleges, um, UW-River Falls and UW-Madison, and I have decided that I'm going to UW-Madison, which is a huge accomplishment. It's also very expensive. But <laughs> this is an opportunity that God has given me, and I know it definitely will fill many pages in a notebook. So next time you look at a notebook, I want you to remember 
that God has many opportunities for you to go out to share his word and to love each other. We need to take all of these opportunities and express our love for everyone. We need to follow God's plan and fill our notebooks no matter where it leads us. Will you please pray with me? Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for everyone who was able to attend today, and I ask that you watch over those who are unable to. Help us all to live as Christians and to positively affect our community by using our time, talent, and treasures. Amen.